The second step of this system involves value-based strategy decomposition, where we focus on the needs of stakeholders or their strategic ambitions and break them down into smaller, tangible components. On a practical level, I can create a new scorecard and begin working on a stakeholder's strategic ambitions. The default template suggested by the software is the balancer scorecard with four perspectives. I can choose another template or customize this one according to my needs by adding or renaming perspectives. As an illustration, we can begin with a high-level objective, such as excellence in customer service. We can align it with some of the stakeholders created in the previous step using the owner drop-down list. Next, I can add a sub-item and name it strategic goal. Then add another level and name it operational goal. I can add another strategic goal and make it more specific with operational goals. The number of strategic goals or levels of decomposition is not limited. To make the goals more specific and measurable, we can add a few KPIs using the Add button. This can be done for all strategic or operational goals. Ideally, these KPIs should quantify the value that we create for the stakeholders. Ultimately, our goal is to reach an actionable level. I will add an initiative or action plans by clicking the initiative button. In the following videos, we'll discuss these components of strategy in more detail.